Okay, so a couple days ago, 343's community director, Sketch, responded to an article that was linked in the Halo subreddit. And as soon as I read what he said, I knew I wanted to make a video on this because he was kind of uh, damage controlling in a way. Okay, so I want to quickly brief you guys on what this is all about. Uh, a couple days after the Halo Infinite gameplay reveal, the uh, tech journalist Brad Sams, he reported that there were talks of Halo Infinite launching without multiplayer. There was a tweet stating this that got a lot of attention on Twitter and Sketch actually responded to it and said, nothing to see here folks, this is not true. Well, a couple days ago, Brad Sams had wrote another article and in this article, he basically talked about some of the struggles and challenges 343 has been facing uh, with the development of Halo Infinite. But there's one small section that I wanna read to you guys real quick. So he says, Phil Spencer has confirmed that splitting up the campaign and multiplayer was a serious consideration, but this was not a recent discussion as many had assumed, as this option started being considered in early 2020 or possibly late 2019. The final decision to ship the game as either a complete title or separate parts may have been more recent, but the idea of shipping two separate pieces has persisted for about a year or so. So he's essentially reporting that 343 considered launching uh, Halo Infinite Campaign and Halo Infinite Multiplayer separately. So then after this article had come out, Sketch had responded to somebody who linked this article in the Halo subreddit and this is what Sketch said. Okay, normally I slash we don't even entertain this kind of stuff, but seeing as I'm partially implicated here, I'm going to address the part where he claims Phil Spencer validated his prior reporting even though I denied it. The reporting at the time said multiplayer would not be shipping with single player this fall. For a hot minute, it was creating a storm on social until I claimed, until I chimed in to debunk it. The tweet that made that claim was then deleted. Phil Spencer went on Animal Talking recently, and while discussing the infinite shift to 2021, did mention that separating multiplayer and campaign was briefly considered before the decision was made to shift it all to next year. These are not the same things at all. Sam's unsubstantiated report in late July was 100% false, and no such plan or discussion had ever happened. Campaign was never going to ship without multiplayer, period. Most recently, as it became clear the project needed more time, part of that assessment did entail trying to see if perhaps just multiplayer could launch as planned, but was deemed a non-starter. So even if that would have been the outcome, it's the opposite of what was reported in late July. People can and will make up whatever stories they want, but I draw the line at being personally implicated as being dishonest with the community. I may not always be allowed to say what I want to say, for example, I'm probably not allowed to really get into a point by point response to this article, but I will always speak the truth. Okay, so this to me seems like damage control. Uh, it seems like we're discussing semantics. Because here's the thing, Sketch is technically right, according to what he said. All right, there were no talks of the campaign shipping without the multiplayer, but he says there were talks of the multiplayer shipping without the campaign. But what it seems Sketch fails to realize is that the outrage that was sparked by the reports of the campaign launching without the multiplayer, that same outrage would apply to the multiplayer launching without the campaign. You see, the main reason people were upset is because the game was launching incomplete despite five years of development, right? That was a report of the game launching without a core aspect of the game being the, the multiplayer. So whether it's the campaign launching without the multiplayer or the multiplayer launching without the campaign, the fact still remains the game would be launching incomplete missing a huge core aspect of the game. So Sketch, let's not act like these two things are not the same at all, as you stated in your Reddit post. Essentially, they are the same thing, in that the same outrage that people had over the reports of the campaign launching without the multiplayer would also be applied to the multiplayer launching without the campaign. This response from Sketch just came off as really immature. It, it really did, like, I I've noticed that. These 343 employees do not like to admit when they're wrong. They don't. They get defensive. 
Like, I understand, according to what Sketch had said, he isn't technically wrong. But don't act like this, that changes anything. Like, you know, it's like, um, it's like somebody reporting that I had stole some kid's money and punched him in the face. And then I come out and say, no, 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 that's not what happened at all. This is 100% false. I actually, what actually happened is I stole his money and slapped him in the face. See, not the same thing at all. When in reality, uh, that wouldn't change anything. People would be outraged by both. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I thought that was a terrible response from Sketch. That was not a good way to go about responding to this article at all. And yeah, that's all I have to say on this matter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.